it's, it's a, a consistent pathology that this could happen from things that are in the blood or it could be secreted by the, 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 uh, the vascular endothelium that's lining the blood vessels. Now, from your experience, do you think that these clots are forming a long time before death, just before death, just after death, a bit of both? Is there any way we can no, gauge um, them? Let me tell you, nothing carries on growing inside your body when you die. Nothing. No. No, with the exception of perhaps decomposition, you know, as your body begins no. to break down. There's no way on earth these clocks form. I would have seen them. I've done 18 years. Seven years of that, I worked for the coroner. I've got a BIE registered in Barma. Yeah. I'm yeah. talking, I, I have had maybe 60, 70 other funeral directors reach out to me. They've even tapped me on the shoulder at the local yeah. crematorium and thanked me for raising the alarm. 60 or 70? Yes. yes. Other? Funeral yes, directors. Yeah, within the industry. I've seen I've the same thing. Mortuary managers, I've had mortuary managers that tell me the thrombosis deaths have gone up 600%. 60 or 70 yes. funeral uh, home Yeah, buyers. and they're all really frightened because they all work for someone else. And when you realise what's actually going on and you realise the gravity of the situation, and I've sat with big political figures in, in Westminster and discussed it openly, and, and we were told as a group of people, it's above my pay grade, there's nothing I can do about it, and the guy left. You know, it's uh, when you understand the gravity of what's going on, these people are frightened, and I get that. Um, I'm just not frightened. Yeah, always good to meet a brave man, John. I've got no choice because I've got a moral compass that won't allow me to be complicit. Yeah. So.